Hey guys, in this tutorial we will create a filter which shows the current day and a timestamp below and we will also use custom fonts here, so let's start! Hey again, so let's create a classic day of the week filter with a timestamp and also with a custom font. The first step we have to do here is to add an, a 2D text object to our scene. This will automatically create a canvas object and in there the 2D text elements. So I will set the viewport mode here from 3D to 2D objects and now it is much easier yeah, to move around this text element we have just created. I will set it to the middle of my screen and then also make sure it has the right size because otherwise the text will do some strange things when the text is longer. So <clears throat> now we can move on to the um, yeah, dynamic text. Um, so just go to the right hand side to typography and delete this sample text out here from this text field. So the next step is the important step. Here you can see the dynamic text and right next to it this insert button. Just click on it and here you can yeah, select a lot of data. I will select here the day of day of week and insert it and now you can already see that it is Tuesday when I record this video and yeah I will set the color from black to white and also will make it a little bit bigger so the font size from 40 to 60. I also want to show the current timestamp underneath this day here so yeah just go to the left hand side to the scene panel and here just duplicate the 2d text object now both of them are on the same level so yeah let's move down one a little bit and yeah it says the same as the above but yeah go to the right hand side to the text field and delete this cryptic data out of the text field and then again click on click on dynamic text insert and then here select the the time but yeah i will set the time the font size from 60 to let's say 20 and move it a little bit up so i think that is really good so now let's um yeah insert a custom font because you just can select this fonts here in the spark ar studio that are the standard fonts here when I search for custom fonts, I go to thefont.com and here I will just browse and select a font that, that I like. So for this tutorial, I will go with this font, just click on download and yeah, the download starts. Then you will get a zip file, just open it and in there you will find a folder and a .tdf file or a .otf file. Just drag and drop it into your assets panel. So now you'll see here is a fonts folder in the assets panel with the with the font file below. So now just select a 2D text object and then go to the right hand side and click on font. And here you will see that here is the um, just added font and then just click on it and the font changes. So. Also for this one and now I think that looks pretty good but now it's much smaller so let's change the font size from 60 to let's say 90 and also for the time let's change the font size from 20 to 40 and yeah I think that looks pretty good. I hope you liked this video if yes give it a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel yeah subscribe to it that would be really cool and yeah see you in the next video. Bye.